Hi everyone, and welcome to Amy Explains, where we answer your questions about trans and or media issues. Local alchemist Tian No Yamas asks, what do trans people bring that is unique to your tool craft technique? Excellent question, Tian, and good luck with the alchemy. I have one of your in my pocket right now. Speaking of, uh, local alchemist, if you want to support trans-owned businesses, he's located like four blocks from us in Vancouver. What do trans actors bring? Off the cuff, uh, one, we come in like totally prepared. When you have a cis person who's been cast in a movie to play a trans person, if we're lucky, they will hire like a trans consultant to kind of like walk them through what it's like being trans. Like, oh, you thought you could pee there. Guess what? You might not be able to do so safely. Oh, you thought you could travel there. Maybe not. And by the way, here's what gender dysphoria feels like. And so this person spends like weeks with this person, if not months, while this person is like doing research and so on, just to get up to this point where like every single trans person is already ready to go when they play their character. Trans people are gonna give a more nuanced performance because we not only know that, we also usually know all the other trans performances out there and which ones have been good and which ones have like totally sucked. Uh, what else? Uh, trans people, most importantly, uh, if you're making a movie or a TV show about a human rights struggle, you should really be hiring people in that demographic to be in that TV show or movie. I mean, it's like, hey, we're championing human rights, but we're not gonna hire any of those people. It's like a really fucked up and yet very common thing to do. Um, other things that trans people bring, we're like super motivated as actors because it's like, one, holy shit, we're getting to play a role that we can totally kick ass at. Two, holy shit, we're being able to play a role at all. We're gonna fucking knock this one out of the park, which is exactly what happened on the Switch. Um, Tian has been there for some of the training that our trans actors went through for the Switch. And people were like super hardcore motivated. And no one in the Switch was like totally new to it. But a lot of our actors were not, didn't have like the lengthy resume that you'd expect on a regular sitcom um, about cis people and whatever it is that cis people do. Um, um, but as you can see from the Switch, we got excellent performances out of people who would normally be working for like another 10 years before they'd be allowed to get anywhere near a sitcom. So by the way, casting people from marginalized groups, excellent performances, super motivated, really good work. I don't see why everyone isn't doing this because this is like obviously the way to make a good TV show. Uh, it will also avoid blowback uh, for TV shows and movies that refuse to do this because people will be going, oh, thank you, finally. Uh, let's see, what else does it do? It demonstrates it's possible for trans people to, to act and play like any roles. Um, and here I'm not just talking about trans people and trans roles. There are a lot of roles in any film that could be played by pretty much literally anyone, like doctors, parents, mob bosses, uh, pirates, starship captains, could be anybody and should be anybody. And when you cast the range of humanity in these parts, I mean like, gender identity, gender history, gender expression, weight, looks, age, race, accent, height, uh, ability, every axis, I can't remember which ones I've already said, but we need to see the spectrum of humanity on our television. It's wrong that we have media that says that only 2% of people are worth telling stories about. Um, it makes a realistic and more vibrant world for your media. That's why. Thanks everyone, that's been Amy Explains for this week. And remember, if you wanna see more, like and subscribe. And the Switch is now available on Vimeo. Link is below, not in my pants, but in the description. If you wanna get a copy for yourself or a friend or a community group, you can do it right there. Uh, so that's it, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget, only sales of season one make season two happen. This is where we are, this is where we need to be. You know what to do.